Governor Hickenlooper is preparing a state of emergency for the areas in southwest Colorado along the Animas River. Already, both the town of Durango and La Plata County have issued their own emergency orders. CBS4's Jeff Todd has been covering this story for us since last week. And Jeff, you spoke with a resident still upset with the government's response. Kathy, just take a look at what the river looked like as it went through town on Thursday. And then take a look at this photo that we got today. You can see the change in color, but also some sediment still building up on the side of the river. As this saga continues, many of the test results still have not been released to the public. Durango residents are still wandering close to the edge of the river, but they tell us it no longer looks like this. The river is now closer to a greenish color. The EPA says it now knows 3 million gallons of metal-laden water reached the river last Wednesday. Thousands of gallons per day flowed until yesterday when retention ponds were finished. Without solid answers on if the water is safe, Many residents and top officials are still concerned. My water well is 50 feet from the atmosphere, and we are waiting for those results. 107 fish placed in the river by the state to study the plume's impact are still alive. And a group studying insects along the Animus and Durango say they've seen no drastic drop in its population. Good signs as worried citizens await updated metal counts. The EPA is in the business of cleaning up these things, so... Believe me, we're, we're in a position that we're not used to being in. The agency says these water samples take time for sediment to settle before the test can take place in order to find out exactly what toxic metals and how much is in the mine waste. But it's the same sediment settling that causes concern for long-term impacts of the river, like next spring when runoff will kick up the mine's debris again. The EPA released this document today that allows businesses and others to file a claim for reimbursement. But many people, including raft owners, say at tonight's meeting, this and a lack of answers aren't good enough. Tom? We'll see how it plays out here. Thank you, Jeff.